tragedy on I-70. Families say 61-year-old Rosa Bridges died in a crash that shut down the interstate for several hours Saturday morning. Today, 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez spoke with her grandchildren who were in the car with her. Debris from the fatal wreck still sits on the shoulder of I-70. The two teenage boys who survived are back home tonight, grieving the loss of their grandmother and expressing gratitude for the drivers who stepped in to help them. 15-year-old Aaron Adams and his brother Brandon are grief-stricken over the death of their grandmother, Rosa Bridges. She would take us to our dads and we would hang out there, but now she's, she's not going to be able to do that anymore. On Saturday morning, the three were heading west to KCK on I-70 when a car clipped their Honda near the stadiums. His rear bumper hit the front bumper of our car and we started spinning. And eventually flipping over the concrete barrier. All the glass was broken. The car was upside down and everything when I woke. And I just unbuckled myself and climbed out the window. His 14-year-old brother still buckled in the back seat. One of those days, getting my to help me out of the guy that's going to get out myself. That same woman called the boy's mother as other drivers pulled Brandon out of the mangled car. We couldn't really understand anything that the lady was saying on the phone. She was just so upset. And then, um, I don't know, it's probably about five, six minutes later, a police officer called. Police say the 61-year-old grandmother died at the scene. She didn't deserve what happened to her happened to her. But I know that she would have preferred her own life to get taken instead of one of her green kids. Aaron and Brandon were treated for cuts and bruises. They now have a special request for the drivers who helped them. I just want to see them in person and give them a huge thank you. As they begin a journey to heal emotionally. We just have to keep praying and just kind of push each other push each other through it and stay strong for each other. In Kansas City, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.